gym. Um, it wasn't pretty at times, but it's a 1-0 win and we're into the second round. Listen away from home, you know, FA Cup, the fever, the weather, um, all aspects, you know, there'll be, there'll be upsets up and down the country in uh, any round of the FA Cup. And it's important when you come away from home that you stand up and you be counted. So as I come here and play against a very good side and keep a clean sheet, was massive for us. It was all hands to the pump at times. I thought some of our play first half was OK. There's more to come in that department. Created a couple of decent enough chances. We tested the keeper. I uh, haven't really had much against us. But second half, caution to the wind. I thought uh, Nantwich were absolutely brilliant. They kept going. They kept plugging away. They had different... Bits. They had runners, they had the big lad who come on up front, uh, big uh, MacDonald who we know well. And, uh, you know, as I say, it was all hands to the pump. There was good, pleasing things of our play today. Another clean sheet's massive for us. How they battled and how they went about the jobs was superb. Uh, we can do better with the ball. We probably give it away too much, or we, we did give it away too much, certainly in the second half when it needed someone to, to put the foot on it. But as I say, away from home, FA Cup. There'll be upsets. Thankfully, it's not us, but uh, massive respect and credit goes to Nantwich. Thought he went about the job brilliantly today and uh, caused us plenty of problems. But the big thing is getting into the half of the next round, and that's what we've done, so we're, uh, we're really pleased. In terms of your team selection today, there were two changes. Um, one, I imagine, forced, given that James Montgomery wasn't involved at all today, um, and the other being Dan Bradley. Um, got a bit of news on... Um, Montgomery and, and also on your section today with, with Dan? Yeah, uh, James got a bit of a growing problem. He's been he's had it for a few weeks before I've come. It's gradually getting worse. Um, you know, we've we've uh, monitored him this week. We've trained with him phase, it's just been a little bit too sore for him. So uh, you know it's important that we, we do the right treatment, we do what we need to do and hopefully we'll get him back sooner rather than later. We need players in the squad. We're quite blessed that we've got three goalkeepers, obviously uh, Bradford don't want Sam uh, cup tied. So we uh, there's an, an option there with Sam or Dan. We've gone with Dan and uh, he's kept a clean sheet so he can be pleased with his efforts today. We just thought with Dan coming away from home, um, the way the FA Cup is and my me, me experience of it, it's going to be a bit of a battle. It's going to be rough and tumble. It's going to be uh, you know all the tackles going in, the hard running, the home team who have got a big crowd behind them. You know We went with a little bit more physicality in there with, uh, with Dan Bradley over Nick Orton today and uh, you know, you got to look back and say this way because we won the game. It wasn't pretty at times. You know, with the strengths and weaknesses for both players. But we went with what we thought was right. We made, we picked the team for the right reasons in that way. And uh, we got the win. So that's the most important thing. So job well done. In terms of a job well done, in, in terms of the finish for Ryan Crowsdale, you were just saying you turned around because you, you, you hadn't seen it. Do you want to, um, for those that haven't seen it yet, kind of explain uh, how that what goal came about? Then? Well, again, we've worked on defensive set plays. Uh, today, it was from a free kick great counter attack we've got pace on the attack uh, we've got in and as it's been squared to Ryan I'm thinking go on take a touch and put it in and he's gone with a first time and as he's gone with a first time it's looped up and I thought well I've, I've turned around and discussed him in disgust of him being perfectly honest but as I've turned around um, you know I've looked at the dugout and the dugout has jumped up and, and shouted at me that it's gone in so they all count it doesn't matter how they go in the back of the net it's the, the all important goal it wasn't pretty it was a good counter attack the finish wasn't pretty but as I say he might, he might on another day strike it, uh, strike it through and hit the goalie or hit the post or whatever so the way it's gone in is a little bit different but it doesn't matter it's in the back of the onion bag and we're into the, uh, the next round In terms of um turning your attentions back to the league it's a trip to Zale or Moore's next a place where I've um, been on a couple of occasions and um, to put it bluntly it's a, it's a ground you've got to go to and, and defend well um, is it a trip you're looking forward to? I look forward to every game all the uh, the problem solving that you got to go go through at different grounds uh, new to me I've never been there obviously I know that they've had a a successful season last year, um, you know, and, and for whatever reason this year they haven't really gone to the heights that maybe they wanted to, but they're still an effective side, they're a good side from what I've seen and heard, and uh, it is one of those places you've got to stand up and be counted, so the good thing from our point of view, uh, the defensive record hasn't been great this season, we've just kept two clean sheets back to back. Uh, so that's something to build on. We know there's more to come from our offensive play. We've just concentrated more so on defensive stuff uh, and we'll start throwing down a little bit more with regard to attack and play. There was some good evidence of it today, you know, more so in the first half. But yeah, whatever game comes around, we look forward to it. What we have done, we've given ourselves a shot in the arm. We're five unbeaten. We've won in the cup today. We've kept two clean sheets. There's plenty to build on. It just gives the, cl the club a real good positive vibe now. Have a good week in training. And then when that comes around next Saturday, we give it our absolute all and try and win the game. That's what we want to do. 
we want to keep our little run going, which again builds momentum, builds confidence. Lads are in a good place at the minute. They're training well. They're working hard. They've got a, a you know good togetherness amongst themselves, and uh, long may that continue.